All right, this is a great question. So I did a transformation video and I had a little bit of the drinking last night. So then I woke up today and around my eyes were just like, okay, what? So what do I do when that happens? All right, because it happens more often than not. And I start with the new face. I get the little eye one and I just go around and like the radio frequency, whatever's in it, it just helps to break up that little sausage situation that I get around my lids. I carry a lot of puffiness around my eyes. So this helps to move the fluid around. I do that while I'm like just watching TV, having my coffee. Then it, it takes a little bit of a village, but then... I do an eye mask like while I'm blowing my hair out or something. I love the good molecules. Dermatology is another good one, something with caffeine or the um, patchology, another one of my faves. I do these every single morning. They hydrate, soothe, depuff, makes a difference and over time even more so, okay? Then while I have my eye mask on, I use a cryo tool. These, I have a lot, all this stuff is in my Amazon links too, but I, I put this on when they're extra bad and I just kind of like, use the cooling like when well, you know when a boxer gets punched and they take that like cold metal and they put it on their face to get the swelling down that's what i'm thinking all right and it works then i use a peach under eye corrector to even out any discoloration or darkness if you're puffy and you go in with a concealer that is too light you're gonna like maximize the puff okay like marshmallow city so that's the other thing and then i do a little bit of a setting powder over that can be tricky. We have to set with powder. But then, I know, it's a lot of steps, but guess what? I'm not 20 anymore. I will then take like an eye oil or an eye balm, B-A-L-M, my accent, sorry. And I will just take it a little bit anywhere that looks like she wants to crease up and things are happening. And I just place it over to keep the area rehydrated right there, and one of my favorite blurring powders for the under eye that I set with is the Pat McGrath Labs. She kind of like sets and brightens, very light and made specifically for the eye area. So that's my favorite one of those. And um, that one was Cure Weiss, one of my favorite balms. She treats as well, but there's a few in my Amazon links that I dig too. Um, Tula has a great one, Cora Eye Oil, Beauty Guru Eye Oil. This is the Cure Weiss. So I, I do switch it up, but these are some of my faves and that's that's how I uh, handle the situation, but you know what? And then when I do my liner, lifting it here instead of going down is making my eyes look more lifted and awake as well. And then doing the darker on the flub <laughs> helps minimize the sausage lid and the lighter right here. So there's a few tricks that help to uh, do that whole situation. Hope that helps.